needs a 76.58 to take the lead. Capable of that. Well, I think one of the most trained and physically ready competitors that we've seen demonstrating great stamina, Elena Agostinelli from Italy. You didn't see a huge energy drop off, and that was rare. We've seen everyone a little get a little bit tired, but didn't really notice it so much here. It really wasn't visible, and that difficult exit that she offered at the end of the sit spin had as much conviction as some of the earlier elements. So, really impressive and testament to the hard work and run through she must be doing. The skaters notoriously not wanting to do. <laughs> the women are skating better today. Yes, you know, it absolutely. Was a, it was a tough short program yesterday. It was a lot of little mistakes and shakiness, but today there's a fierceness and a determination that we didn't see yesterday so much in the short. And sometimes that's the case that you can see it. She's greeted by her coaches there. Sometimes a rough day on the ice one day motivates the digging deep and fighting for everything in 
the second section of the competition. She has such long limbs, such long lines, a little reminiscent at times from Carolina Costner in the arm line, her compatriot. This, to me, was interesting. At the very beginning, some unique choreographic movement just here opening up. It just hangs on to that Lutz. It was kind of a scrapey landing, but did it. And there's the triple flip. And she struggled with the flip, as I say, in the short program. So great to see her fighting for that. The triple toe were solid today in this program. And the big issue, though, unfortunately for Elena, she did do four jump combos or sequences. Well, no, they've actually removed that. There was a, a triple toe Euler. She went for a triple toe, and the intention was to do Euler double salco. But she didn't. She backed off of the salco. And then put it on later on. Yeah. So they've been put that into the system now. So she's been smart, thinking on her feet. And moving forward, we saw that she had to attempt a triple loop. Here, the, the last double axle. She had to attempt triple loop as a mandatory required element in the short program. Elected not to do that here, which is an indication that's not one of her preferred nope. triples. Exactly. But unfortunately, as a junior skater this year, she's got to, <laughs> got to give it a crack in this short program. But you can see the way she's sitting straight and, and bright in the kiss and cry. She's pretty proud and pretty happy with that performance. And a total difference to the vibe in the kiss and cry now yeah. between her and her coaches. <laughs> if we did last yesterday and today. Compare and contrast. Yeah, absolutely. It was interesting. You know, in defense, I remember thinking yesterday that her coaches in the kiss and cry were sympathetic, understanding, and appeared to be supportive and encouraging, giving her the rub on the knee. They've done a good job yeah. in turning that around and, and helping the athlete to secure something that I think will go comfortably and sizably into the lead here in Kursova in the women's free skate. Co coach's job at a competition is not teaching uh, elements. No. It is coaching the managing the emotions of the skater. Here's a look at the free program scores for Elena. <laughs> An 84.59. That's first in the free program. The total competition score of 123.39. That was also first overall. So Elena will take the lead at this point in the competition. There it is. A nice, comfortable lead. Just about eight points.